What up guys, my name is Lane with Rocket Node, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy tutorial on how to start your own 5M server using our quick and easy hosting platform. So the first thing you want to do is open your browser, and we're going to navigate to our website, which I'm already here, but if you're not, rocketnode.com is the domain. Go here, and now we're going to start the server buying process. So what we're going to do once we're here is we're going to click on 5M server hosting, and you're basically going to select the plan you're looking to use. Um, you know, to start, you could start with like a six or eight gig plan. Anything below this is solely for development purposes, I'd say. And, you know, it really depends on the scale of your community. If you're looking to have 50 to 60 people on at a time, you might want to go for a 16 gigabyte of RAM plan or higher. You know, if you're looking for it to just be you and a couple of friends, you know, maybe be in the four to eight range. It really depends exactly what you're looking for and you could always upgrade or downgrade at any time so you know you might want to start at the four gigabyte plan and upgrade to the 16 gigabyte plan which you could do and you will not lose any of your data it will be an instant upgrade so once you figure out the plan you want to buy you're going to click select location we currently offer six locations um texas oregon virginia london sydney and singapore we're constantly adding to this list but you know for the video's sake I have a server deployed in Virginia, but it really depends, you know, wherever you are in the world, you want to pick the location closest to you so that you have the lowest latency and the best performance. So once you go through that, you purchase the server and finish the checkout process, you'll get an email um, giving you panel access, which will bring you here. If you go to panel.rockandnode.net, this is pretty much exactly what you'll see. And this is just a test server we have up to show you guys. But so yeah, this is how we'd start the process. So immediately you will be greeted by this nice looking panel, exactly how mine looks. Um, we're running in Virginia for this example. So now all you have to do, since our panel makes it very easy, um, all you have to do is go to keymaster.5m.net, which all this will be in the description, by the way. And this is so that we can make our license key um, so that our server could run and populate on the server list. So now we're going to click register new server. Display name. I'm just going to put test. You can put your server name. It's totally up to you. Um, initial server IP address. It's going to be everything before the port. So we're not going to do um, this and the port. So it's solely going to be this beginning part here. So we're going to copy that paste um you know all your server ips are going to be different so mine's not going to be the same as yours necessarily so make sure you copy it directly from here and do not copy the one i'm using because it might not be yours um server type i always do vps and provider um you can put anything i'm going to put rocket node because we're using rocket node and then we're going to generate the key once this loads we're literally just going to copy this key go back to our panel Go to startup and right in the 5M license, we're going to plop it right there. Now, if you're looking to change your host name, say you want to call your server, you know, lanes test server. There you go. So now when we start the server, it's going to pop up with the name lanes test server. Um, TX admins not enabled now. Um, we can enable it if you click this button, but you know, I'm just not because I'm not a huge personal fan of it. Um, in terms of server update here, if enabled, it's basically going to pull the latest version of 5M for your server every time the server starts. Um, this will not interrupt your files at all. It just pulls the latest version. But, you know, some frameworks, some custom ESX QB core will require a specific 5M version. So basically, whatever your developer, whoever the file developer is of what you're using tells you to use, um, you know, that will determine if you could enable this or not. In the event they want you to stay on a specific version, you'll basically click that off and then put the version here. But most things work on the latest version, so we're not going to be worried about that. In terms of max players, obviously this is how many players can join your server. We do not at all limit players, but in order to go above 48 players, you're going to want to look into the 5M Patreon, um, which will allow your license keys to handle above 48 players. But that is not a limitation set by us. Um, so now we could go to the console and start it very fast. Um, 
and that, you know especially with the kubernetes it's going to automatically connect you to the most optimized node and this is where we're you know you're really going to see those performance increases um you know that you wouldn't otherwise see at other providers so let's just wait, wait for this to load give it a sec So when this comes up, it's basically, it already has the latest version. So, you know, it didn't have to re-download it and boom, look how fast that started. Obviously this was the first time of us starting it. You know, the second time, third time there's going to be caching. So it's going to start even faster than that. So now that we're started, um, this is not an error at all. It's just installing yarn, which on first install, you know, that's what it does. So we're going to wait for yarn to finish and then we'll restart it just so you can see how much faster it actually is after the second or third start. Um, while that's downloading, I want to just go into some of the other things we offer within our 5M hosting. Um, the biggest thing is the framework installer. Um, you know, we've built this customized solution so you could one click install a QB core ESX or vMenu server with one click of a button. Um, you know, so it's really up to you what you want to do. Um, once this starts, we're going to go ahead and actually do a QB core install, um, just, you know, to demonstrate it, but it's the same process with the SXV menu. So don't worry about that. Very easy. Everything's very easy and uh, user friendly. So now this started, so we're going to click restart. Give this a second. It just has to match to the optimized node. Most of it's not even loading time. It's just getting you on that most efficient server so that the server runs the smoothest and best as possible. Um, you know, we also offer up to 17 terabits per second DDoS protection, which is well above industry standard, um, you know, which will defend most cyber attacks, which is great. Most providers do not offer this. So, you know, especially for the price point, there's a lot of stuff that we offer that, you know, other providers simply can't in this market. And, uh, you know, that's why we are one of the largest providers today. So let this load, download complete. That's just the updating, obviously, of the uh, version. And then boom, look how fast that loads. Boom, and we're online. So pretty much that's that's it. I mean, you literally, within a couple of minutes, have a full 5M server ready to use. Um, for file manager, say you want to add scripts, right? You would basically just add them directly into this resources folder. Um, here, let's pull up a basic script. So let's pull up this script. This is one of my favorites because it's so easy to use. Give it a second. So this is just my horrendous home internet. Okay, perfect. Only took 20 years. Um, okay, let's go here. Jeez, my internet is just top notch. Okay. Well, it looks like we're not doing that script. Um, let's see. We might be able to find it directly on GitHub. All right, sure. Let's do this. I don't know why five informs were down, but you know, that's out of my control. We could close out of the key master, by the way. And now we're literally just going to drag this into resources. Look how freaking fast that is. And now literally we just unzip it. Delete the zip. I always remove the master at the end, but it really doesn't matter. And then, oops, copy this, rename. Uh, then we just go click file manager server.cfg and we are going to ensure that. And boom, save content. Let it save the server.cfg. All right, cool. And now we're going to restart it. And now that script will be in the server. While that's running, let's try to load up 5M. I honestly have not uh, been on 5M on this computer in a while. So this might be a... Uh... All right. Um, okay. So, I don't know how to turn my volume off, but, you know, we shall make it work. So now we're going to copy our IP address with the port. 
and it's starting right now. So let's let's wait for it to start with the new script and so we could really see it. Give that a second. Okay, cool. It's on. F8. We're gonna do connect and then paste that puppy in. And this is the default game build. So let's just start that up. All right. Yeah, now it's just reloading on that new game build. That was just because on a, um, I was playing on an older version before. So, you know, I haven't played on this computer in a long time. Load. Okay, cool. Let's connect again. Oops, it, it's even it's already connecting. Great, even better. So now we're loading in. This is the default loading screen. That's just in 5M. Could have made this tutorial a lot shorter. I just really want to demonstrate to you guys, you know, how great everything works and how fast and easy the whole process is. Let's see what the command does. <laughs> Should have probably did that before uh, downloading the script. Config. What's the command? Slash. Oh, great. So it's restricted. All right. So we're not going to be able to use it because it's restricted, but we'll try it. See? Hey, at least you know it's in because it says access denied. Ideally, we should have unrestricted it, which I'll do now, but I'm not going to go into it again because then it just will work as it should. Um, we're going to go into the resource and fig and turn that to false and save. Perfect. Um, yeah, so now the last thing I really want to show you guys, because I really wanted to make this in depth and go over everything, is we're going to install QB Core as like just a test run. Just so you could see doing one of our frameworks. So we're going to click install. This is going to take some time because it has to pull these files and put them in and sets and it sets it all up for you which is great so just give that a minute perfect and you know now it's running the installer just installing the last of those files and then it's going to be one click start and you'll have a full qb core server it's really great the technology that we've put together here and, and you know you guys are really going to enjoy it or you guys do enjoy it, I should say, you know, we're one of the highest rated hosts in the space. And boom, now we're in. So now we're going to go back to the console and literally just click start. And watch, you're going to see a full QB core server in a second. It's really amazing. Give that a second. And here, I'll even boot up 5 I'm going to go back into it to show you guys. And it does put in a, a new default game build because this one requires a different one. But, you know, that's for most QB core. So let's get into it. Perfect. And, you know, now it's pretty much basic. Uh, um, basic QB core. Just put, I don't know, fake, fake name. Uh, sure. Great. Oh, God. Gender male. Okay, cool. Just want to show you. You know, it's obvious. Obviously, it's fully working QB Core, so you know we could pretty much fake quit. You know, you could tell them that you're you're in your apartment, same as it usually is. I'm just gonna wait for the screen to be off black. So, okay, cool. So F8 quit. Yada yada yada. Fully working QB server. There you go. So you know, in this tutorial, we went over how to set up a basic 5M server within in a few minutes. How to use the framework install, installer to install, you know, a QB Core USX V menu, whatever, you know, you're looking for. And, you know, even how to add your own scripts. So, you know, we're going to be uploading a lot more content to the channel. And if you don't already have your Rocket Node 5M server, go get it. RocketNode.com. Best, fastest, most reliable 5M hosting on the market. Hope you all have a good day. And if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below and we'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you, guys.